Is there anything you cannot do、uh, in comparison with your male counterparts? Do you have the stamina to, to compete one on one? Do you think? It's not always easy to be the only woman in the room, and she really did make it look easy, and she excelled at everything that she did. I would definitely say she was determined. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yes. Very yeah, determined. Very determined. If she had her mind set to something, she was going to do.、It. Jeannie was very driven. She heard about ROTC in the Air Force, and and UT had it. And then we realized she didn't like to just fly regular planes. She was interested in the adrenaline side of it. She had the Mustang. She had the Stallion. I'm like, why not a fighter plane, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's over ten thousand pilots in the Air Force. There's only about five percent of those are fighter pilots, and probably point zero zero one percent of those are women fighter pilots. These programs are intense.、Uh, only, you know, the very、uh, one half of one percent of the population can even do it, at, let alone rise to the top of their craft and their profession. It's these qualities, coupled with her superior intellect, that really made her stand out. A flying a fighter is extremely demanding, and it hits all your senses at one time. The aircraft themselves are very noisy. There's a lot of vibration when you pull G. You can pull up to like nine times your body weight, and so you're managing all of these different factors going into a target to accomplish a mission. In Air Force pilot training, they have a assignment night. They go down in rank order, and number one gets to stand up and pick what they want to fly. And General Levitt was. Number one, she was the top graduate. So when she stood up, all of those aircraft were there for her to pick from. And she said, "I want the F-15 Strike Eagle." And they said, "Okay, that's great, but women aren't allowed to fly that." So gave her another assignment and told her to sit down. Basically, when the rule did change, she was allowed to be the very first in line to get to fly her Strike Eagle. I'm proud to announce that Lieutenant Flynn will now be our first woman combat pilot. Upon completion of that training. She will be assigned to one of our F-15E operational units. General Levitt has flown over 3,000 hours and 300 hours in combat, which is probably in the top five percent of pilots in the Air Force. One of her biggest impressive accomplishments to other women aviators was that she was the very first woman to graduate from the weapons instructor course, which is the Air Force's version of Top Gun. One of her great hallmarks is how she made any team she was a part of better, because she would uplift the condition of the entire team with the way she approached the human piece of this very difficult job of putting your life at risk, fighting another human being that can be equally as good, and always finding a way to win, and always finding a way to bring her team home alive. It was these observations that led me to make her a commander of a fighter squadron. It's not just about being a great fighter pilot; it's about being a great leader of large organizations. And those are very different skill sets. One is a skill set of like a race car driver; the other one is a skill set of like a CEO. Jeannie was good at both. She leads by example in everything that she does, and one of those really amazing ways that she leads is by having a family and being a great parent. She always has put her family first. She recognized the sacrifices they made for her to have her career, and she worked with them as a team. She'd say, "When I have an assignment, it's for our whole family. We'll only continue if it works for all of us." She was willing to dedicate herself to her family throughout this very demanding career to to be a mom, and she's been a great example to me and to other women airmen on how you can find balance and you can be present for your children while you're leading, you know, hundreds of thousands of people at the same time. I do know that General Levitt helped Brie Larson and the Captain Marvel movie, and hosted them basically when they were at Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas. She also wanted it to be an authentic representation of a woman fighter pilot, and so she put her whole heart and soul into working with Brie Larson and really working on the role. So I think that the a lot of the tenacity and the spunk and the attitude of Captain Marvel really was based off of General Levitt. Jeannie has often spoken about her foundation. You know, the the foundation of education that doesn't teach you what to think, but teaches you how to think. This happened in Texas. This happened at her foundational university experience, and she is forever grateful. 
she was not only the first, but she would make sure that she wasn't the last woman fighter pilot. She was that quiet force of nature uh, that transformed people, organizations, and as history books will be written in the future, transformed the nature of air and space power protecting America for the next hundred years. Yes, sir, I go through the same training that my male counterparts go through, and I've had no problems to this point, and I'm looking forward to the challenge of flying that 15E.